The following program is made possible by friends and partners of GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. If you would like Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez to pray for you in his prayer time, kindly send an email to prayer at gabrielfernandezministries.org or visit the daily prayer list section of our website. Connect with us on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram where you can receive more inspiring and prophetic content. Simply search for Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez on social media. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello to you, my dear friend. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and it's so good to be with you today. It is indeed another day that God has given us. My dear friend, I encourage you, be happy. No matter what you might be going through, be happy because God is with you. And God will never leave you. He will never forsake you. I'm going to read from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 8 from verse 14 all the way to verse 17 in the ISV version. And even as I read, I want to show you how great our God is. And today I want to pray for you that this same God, this same Lord will touch you wherever you are. He is alive today. He rose again from the dead and He is alive. He died for us in our place to take our punishment upon Himself. That death that He suffered on the cross was our punishment. He died in our place so that we could live and He rose again so that we could have life and life more abundantly. You see, my dear friend, our Lord and Savior couldn't be held down by death. Death wasn't strong enough to hold Jesus down. He defeated death and He rose again. He's alive and this same Jesus I'm going to tell you about today. He is going to touch you as we pray. He is going to intervene in your life and your life will never be the same again. So let's begin reading from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 8 from verse 14 all the way to verse 17 in the ISV version. It says, When Jesus went into Peter's house, he saw Peter's mother-in-law lying in bed sick with fever. So stop right there, my dear friend. Who did Jesus see? He saw Peter's wife's mother. It says Peter's mother-in-law was lying in bed sick with fever. So she was sick at that time. The first thing that Jesus noticed when he came into the place was that Peter's mother-in-law was sick and he had compassion on her. He felt sorry for her. He felt sorry in her situation, the trouble that she was going through, the fever that was troubling her life. So in verse 15, it goes on to say, he touched her hand and the fever left her. My dear friend, when the Lord touched her hand, he never even said anything. All he needed to do was touch her hand and the fever left her. In whatever situation it might be, may the Lord Jesus touch you today. May He deliver you. May that fever leave you. May that problem leave you. Whatever situation it is, as Jesus touches you today, may that situation leave you. It goes on and says, Then she got up and she began serving Him. My dear friend, in verse 15, we see something that is echoed throughout the whole Bible. The goodness of the Lord leadeth to repentance. My dear friend, she got up and she began serving him. Now some people might think she got up and started making him food. Well and good, that might be right. But the way I see it is she began serving him. Whether it was making food or whatever else she did. My dear friend, when God touches you, when God visits your life, turn around from those things that you know in your heart are wrong and follow God. When God does a miracle in your life, don't continue in the wrong way, turn and do the right way. And then it goes on to say in verse 16, when evening came, people brought to him many people who were possessed by demons. It goes on to say he drove out the spirits by speaking a command and healed everyone who was sick. My dear friend, today if you are struggling with any demonic powers attacking your life, Jesus shall speak the command and you shall be set free. He shall speak and you shall be set free in the name of Jesus. And if you're struggling with any sickness in your body, he shall heal you. You see, my dear friend, from situations, bad situations, 
to sickness, to demonic problems, whatever it might be, there is nothing that can hold Jesus back. It goes on to say in verse 17, this was to fulfill what was declared by the prophet Isaiah when he said, it was he who took our illnesses away and removed our diseases. My dear friend, I want to tell you something. It is Jesus who does all the miracles in our lives as born again believers. It is Jesus who has healed you. Turn to Jesus, believe in Jesus, hold on to Jesus and never let him go. Ask him to hold on to you. When he holds on to us, he will never let us go and we'll go to greater glories. Today, my dear friend, we will call upon the name of the Lord and he shall touch you and whatever situation it is, you shall experience his power. You shall experience his mighty power. You shall know that the Lord speaks and he lives. In saying that, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Let us begin to pray. Let us just trust God. Let us believe God so that God can do what only he can do, so that he can come through for you mightily and change your life in whatever situation it is. In saying that, let's begin to praise him. We always begin by praising him. As you praise him, your miracle will come into the place. So begin to praise him. Father, you are our God and we praise you. We praise you, Lord. We realize that you are our strength. We are nothing without you. We need your power. We need your deliverance working power to come through and deliver us. We need a touch from you. We need a special touch that can bring a change that only you can bring. And even as you do it, Lord, we give you praise. Even as you do what only you can do so that my dear friend can see that you are the God who speaks and you live. So therefore come and visit my dear friend today. Visit my dear friend in a divine way. Visit my dear friend. And even as you do so, O oh God, be glorified and be magnified, even in my dear friend's life. I pray this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, now we're going to begin to pray. We're going to go into a time of prayer. I'm not going to talk much. I want us to go into a time of prayer. But as we go into a time of prayer, my dear friend, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do is lift up your hands and say this with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come and glorify King Jesus in my life. Be with me so that I'll never be alone. I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you and God's going to take you to a greater glory. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Lord Jesus, even as you did so for Peter's mother-in-law, as you did so for Peter's wife's mother, do the same for my dear friend. Touch my dear friend. Just touch my dear friend and that's enough for the situation to all change. No matter how big that situation is, whether it's in the court, whether it's in the hospital, whether it's in a financial crisis, whether it's in debt, whatever situation it might be, whether it's even in education, touch my dear friend and we know in line with your word that that situation will change. Even if it's in the area where my dear friend needs deliverance, touch and deliver my dear friend even today as we seek you. Lord Jesus, we welcome you. Come Lord Jesus, touch us and change our lives. We call upon your name and we know that we shall be saved. As it says in your word, those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Lord, we thank you that right now as we are calling upon you, my dear friend is being saved from every hardship. My dear friend is being saved from every problem. My dear friend is being saved from every tricky situation that's troubling my dear friend's life. I thank you that my dear friend is being saved in every area, even problems that were still to come, problems that haven't come, but they are still to come and they want to come suddenly. I thank you that even today you are removing every bad suddenly and you are leaving good suddenlies for my dear friend. I thank you for your grace and your mercy. I thank you that your grace and your mercy is manifest right now. And my dear friend will experience your presence. My dear friend will experience your power even right now. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your prophetic power. I thank you for your prophetic deliverance power. My dear friend is being delivered right now. My dear friend is being set free. We understand and know that on our own, life is ups and downs. But with you, life can be smooth sailing. Because we experience your presence. We have a constant in our life. We have a constant that we can stand on. We have a constant that we can believe in. And that is your word. You are our Lord. 
you are the solid rock and the fact that it says that you are the solid rock means that you are not moving you are solid you are consistent you are perfect and you are true bring consistency that the devil will not be able to move and blow and toss my dear friend but my dear friend will stand strong in your power and in your presence i pray this and i thank you for it lord i thank you for miracles i thank you for divine happenings all around the world I thank you, Lord, wherever my dear friend is watching, things are changing, things are moving, things are beginning to change for the better. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, it is a done deal. That is all it takes. As we have put our trust in the Lord, we shall not be disappointed because we have put our trust in the right place. Jesus will never disappoint you. You can trust in Him. You can believe in Him. You can stand strong in Him and you will not be shaken. Believe in the Lord, my dear friend, and you will prosper. But in saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. God bless you and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.